Caller 1, this is What's Up. It's uh, very late in the morning, about 2 a.m. I just wanted to get this on uh, video. It's the spark that I'm getting right now. Uh, my setup here. This is a uh, pulsing uh, flyback uh, one. Uh, so basically, this is the flyback transformer. I put in uh, a double wind of uh, dual coils on here to drive it, but I'm not using a pair of them, the outer pair not being used right now. Uh, actually, when I'm running this, when I put, when I, sh when I, when I short the outer pair, uh, the jumper cable gets very hot. Uh, this here is uh, an IRFP uh, 260N. Uh, three batteries and a four holder, but I just put a dummy in here. Uh, this is my one to one. It's a little coil that I took out of uh, out of something out of uh, out of a monitor. And uh, so the uh, let's see now the. The frequency generator is hooked up here. Uh, this side here is going to the uh, gate. Uh, this side here is coming across the switch. And then it's going to the battery, and from the battery, it's going to the source. And on the drain, I'm putting on my positive and the negative of the power supply is coming to the uh, one side of my drive coil. The heat sink here is getting fairly hot. I'm running this right now at about uh, that's uh, 11 kilohertz and that's what I'm drawing right now is 18 volts at 2.4 amps and that's what I'm getting here. This is at 11 kilohertz. Now I'm going to start lowering the kilohertz on this. Right now I'm in 1000 my speaking ability. That's about nine point nine ten kilohertz. Ten kilohertz right there. So we have a good basis to start having some variable fun here. Thanks to Whoopi for bringing this up. I knew there was a way to do this. The heat sink uh, is getting hot, and I'm, you know I'm dissipating a lot of energy here, uh, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, we can find other ways of uh, uh, increasing that efficiency. So thanks a lot, and uh, see you guys soon.